There is a lot of buzz in regards to the multiverse saga being capped off with Avengers Secret Wars. Naturally, Secret Wars is supposed to, and more than likely will, make Avengers Endgame look like nothing in comparison to how many characters, cameos, and surprises we're going to have. So let's talk about big recent rumors that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man will have a significant amount of time comparable to Spider-Man No Way Home in Avengers Secret Wars. So I think it's safe to say that when it comes to Spider-Man in the MCU, things are looking better than ever. And now that Tobey Maguire has already returned and he's expressed interest in returning again, and he's put his differences aside with Sony, and he's willing to work with Sony and Marvel Studios, and contracts have already been in play, and all the heavy lifting and legwork has been done, it's pretty easy to see why Marvel Studios and Sony could be willing to deal with Tobey Maguire and any demand he might have, and him being able to listen and come to an agreement to return in another outing, whether that's more Spider-Man films or as reports have recently suggested multiple times, a pretty big role in Avengers Secret Wars. Now again, Peter Parker, MCU Peter Parker, is more than likely guaranteed for Secret Wars. I mean, you're not going to do another big Avengers team up without a Spider-Man, so it's going to happen. But tossing in another multiverse Spider-Man also makes sense because one, he's already been established in the MCU. Two, retroactively, they've made his trilogy canon. And three, you feel like you need all these Spider-Men because they even teased a return in Spider-Man No Way Home. And when the entire multiverse, including the universe that he exists in, is in peril and in danger, you're going to bring him back. And again, Secret Wars, either they're going to go big or they're going to fail. It's one or it, like it's actually no, it's just go big or fail. There's no cutting costs. There's no cutting measures. There's no scaling back. That's the thing. Secret Wars will be the biggest thing Marvel Studios can ever and will ever produce. So you go all in. And I truly do believe that there will be a part of Secret Wars that will be just every Spider-Man we can get ever. And I'm talking ever. I'm talking, you know, 80s live action Spider-Man. What was that? CBS series. You're bringing him in too. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to bring in everybody and they're just going to go all in. And you're going to essentially have a spider battle world, if you will. And you're going to do anything and everything you can. And certainly, we recently even had Alfred Molina say that maybe there is a chance he could come back. Think about that. He already had a redemption arc. So you return him at the end of that redemption arc. And now he's a good guy working with all the Spider-Men. And they're fighting for... Well, the safety of the multiverse. That's a pretty compelling and great like story arc to build off of and further develop all these characters and stories. So I'll be honest with you. Every time we hear a Tobey Maguire Secret Wars report or anything, I 100% believe it. Or at least I believe the part that he is returning.